Hey there friends, it's Nick and this is episode 252 of the Story Hacker podcast. Now this is going to be a short one today, but I wanted to share something that I that I came across in this, this recent time off. I've mentioned that I did a lot of reading. And in a couple of cl- pages, bl- 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 excuse me, <laughs> in a couple of places, I came across this really fascinating piece of research and it was some um, done in Princeton in 2010. I managed to track down the paper which is which is called, here you go, Speaker Listener Neural Coupling Underlies Successful Communication. So obviously it sounds like a riveting read, but actually the study was fascinating. And the scientists behind it, Greg Stevens, Lauren Silbert and Yuri Hassel, they had this thought, I guess, they had this idea. Most of the of the kind of the, the neural imaging that had been done around communication whether we are speaking to someone or listening to someone, had been done um, independently. In other words, they, neuroscientists and psychologists had studied what was going on in people's brains when they spoke. And they'd studied what was going on in people's brains when they heard something, when they were listening. But they hadn't put those two things together. And what these guys did was essentially they had people telling stories you know, one person telling another person a story while they were both in fMRI machines. In other words, they could see what was happening in the brains of the speaker and the listener. And the fascinating thing they discovered, and maybe this, maybe, maybe this won't come as so much of a surprise to us as storytellers, but the fascinating thing they discovered was that the patterns of activation in the brain of the listener mirrored the patterns of activation in the brains of the speaker. In other words, when the communication was successful, the same areas of the brain lit up in the scanner for both people. When you think about that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because if you're telling a it means if you are telling a successful story, a, you know, a well-told story, you are literally in some sense activating the other person's brain in the same way that yours is activating. And I think that's, well, you know, as a storyteller, I think that's fantastic. That's that's brilliant. Um, and in some sense, it mirrors what we already know. We know that um, when people listen to a good story, the chemistry in their brain, and in some sense, the connections in their brain um, reflect what would happen. You know, they reflect the experiences of the protagonist of the story. So, you know, this is why, you know, know, when you when you're watching a, you know, a horror movie or something, in some sense, your body is going through some of the kind of the the biochemical changes that would happen if you were really in that situation. You know, your heart is beating faster. We know that these things happen. So perhaps in some sense, the fact that the brains literally mirror each other is not so surprising. But having the proof and in this paper, which you can find if you um, if you Google for it, you can literally see the photographs from the brain scanner. And what's interesting, of course, is it's not immediate, of course, but it is, um, you know, there is a slight delay. So in other words, there is a processing delay, really, I guess, while the, the listener is processing the information they're getting and then the um, the brain activates. But that's not all. That's not all. One of the other things that they saw was that, well, first of all, it they, they, they controlled, obviously, these they, proper scientists, so they were controlling from the thing. So, for example, they had the story translated into Russian in one instance and... Um, they had some uh, someone speaking the Russian to another person who obviously didn't understand Russian, just to see whether it was just a coincidence that the the processing of the sounds of the language were causing these things. And of course, they they weren't. Um, but the other thing that they found that was really interesting, I think, is that um, one of the things that happens in the listener's brain is that the story also starts to activate parts of the cortex which are to do with predicting you know one of the things I've talked a lot about on this podcast and in my work is how you know essentially all of our all of the people around us including ourselves 
we're story making machines you know and all the time we are essentially running you know when we're making decisions or taking actions or whatever we're essentially creating stories creating scenarios in our head and and sort of testing out the results of these actions or the words we might be about to say or whatever it is and um, you know making our decisions based on that kind of feedback and in this in this research you can see again in the in the images of the F, of the fmri scanners you can see parts of the the listeners brains lighting up that are about prediction where's this story going to go what's the values you know in this story what's the protagonist going to do you know that that kind of thing and again i think that's some um, it's wonderful research in the sense that it it shores up and you know gives extra credibility to i think something that we all recognize you know intuitively but it is nice to have the proof and the the final thing i just want to say is that the conclusion the overall conclusion of the scientists was also really interesting because it it said in a sense the the level of brain coupling the level of synchronicity was also a really good predictor of the quality of the communication which if you think about it, it makes you know it makes so much sense it makes so much sense because when we tell a good story we bring people with us yeah and we've talked about this before we bring people with us and um the idea that we are literally sort of doing that in their brains i think is particularly fascinating and um uh, and again it is i think the, the fascinating maybe it's not surprising because we know as storytellers we know what's going on but i do think you know stephen king has a wonderful line where in his book on writing which i totally recommend if you're interested in telling stories at all it's a great book um and he says of course that um writing storytelling is telepathy you know we are we are somehow putting our words our thoughts into someone else's head and this is the kind of research that that really shows that is true and if you're if you're you know a leader if you're on stage you know this is exactly the kind of thing you know yeah it's it's good to understand you know what you say matters it makes a literal change in people's in people's brains and, uh, and that's one of the reasons why your story means business <laughs>